Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in the last video, we have learned about the Dockers and we have understood what is Dockers. And uh, we have also understood how the Docker is differentiated from the virtual machine and what are the benefits which we get if we run our program on Dockers instead of virtual machines. Okay. And we have also talked about how we can use Dockers for running our Selenium script so that we can perform the parallel execution uh, of our Selenium script on the Dockers. Okay, so today we will see some practical uh, things uh, and we will see how to run our Selenium script in parallel on Dockers. All right, so let's start. So here I have created one uh, file, a notepad file, where I have kept all the important things which we can go through. So first of all, in order to use Dockers, you have to install Dockers. Okay, so for that, what you can do, you can go to Google and in Google, you can go to this URL, which is dockers.com products and dockers engine. So if you go to dockers.com, then you can find it here through which you can download the dockers on your computer. Okay, so this is the first thing. And uh, here, from here, you can download the dockers onto your computer. Second thing, what you need to do, you need to download one more software, which is called VNC server. Okay, so you, in the Google, you can just type real VNC and here you can go to download section and here you first need to download VNC server and the VNC viewer. Okay, so for running Docker, we only need this Docker's. Okay, but we, why we are downloading this VNC server because this will help us to see our execution when we are trying to run Selenium script in parallel. Okay, so these are the two things which you can download. Once this Dockers get downloaded and installed on your computer, you will see a icon something like this, a veil icon. Okay, and here if you do uh, right click, let me just do it. All right, there are many options which you get, and uh, there is one option which says switch to Windows container. Okay, so Dockers was initially created for the Linux mode, but later on it was created for Windows mode also. Okay. So you can always switch to the Windows mode or the Linux mode, but I will suggest just to keep it in the Linux mode for now, because I have seen there are many images which are only available on the Linux mode. Those are still not available on the Windows mode. Okay, so there are, they are uh, like less images available on the Windows mode. So it's always better that just keep it in the Linux mode itself. Okay. All right, so once you have that, once you are in the Linux mode, once your Docker is in Linux mode right now, if it's not there, you can always do a right click and just click on the Linux mode. My Docker is already in Linux mode, so I'm not getting that option. I'm getting to change it into a Windows mode, which I don't want, okay? Once you have that, you can open the command prompt, okay? Either you can open the command prompt or either you can open the PowerShell. I like PowerShell because it's more powerful than command prompt. So I will use my Docker here. Okay. All right. So this is the PowerShell. So before we go ahead, we try to first learn what are the important commands in Docker. Okay. So we have already installed the Docker's on our required machine. And now to check the version of Docker, you have to type Docker space version. Let me just copy paste this and type it here. Okay. If you want, you can note it down. It's Docker space version. Hit on enter. So once you turn on, so it will tell you the version. It's 18.9.2, which is your Docker version. Okay. Now, you know that in Docker's, we have containers. Okay. Docker is a concept. Docker is a software which has different containers. If I want to see what are all the containers I have on my Docker, so I can write this command, which is Docker PS minus A. And if I hit on enter, it will show me the containers. But right now, there's no container running on my Docker. Okay, so that is fine. It, now the next command to stop the container, but I don't have any container running, so I don't need to run this command to stop it. I don't need to even to remove any container because nothing is running, okay? Run the Docker in Linux mode. So I already have a Docker in my Linux mode, so I don't have to do anything, okay? Now the next command, the important command, the images, okay? So what happens in Docker, on Docker, whenever any container is created, it's created on the basis of images. 
and these images are stored on you know uh, by default they are stored on some uh, some repository like a docker hub which is very very similar to a github okay but we need to download those images to onto a computer okay so if the the download is already done i just need to type this docker's image ls then it will show me all the images which are downloaded onto my computer onto my docker okay so let's see if i have anything yes so if you see that on if when i type docker images ls it has all these images downloaded onto my computer right okay great now uh okay so the first command which we write in docker just to make sure my docker is running fine or not there is a program called hello world okay and there's an image for hello world what i will do i will try to run this image hello world and this hello world once i run it what it will do it will create this container and that container would have this application hello world which would be running okay so i will run this image so that the container get created and that container this program will get run okay so i will say docker run hello world okay and it started this says hello from docker so my application is running now fine in case see i have this hello world image already in case if this image is not there so by default it will automatically pull this program from the docker hub okay so if you don't have any of the image and if you try to run it it will pull it automatically but if you want to pull manually you can just type docker pull and then just the image name docker pull Hello world. Okay, so that will manually pull your image. Okay, it says update default tag latest. Okay, latest pulling from library hello world. Alright, so this is the way through which we can manually pull the image. But if I already have the image, I can you know just do a Docker run. Okay, even if I don't have run, it will automatically call the pull. Alright, so that's me. My Docker is up and running and everything is running fine on this Docker. Okay. And let's see if I want to see uh, Docker PS minus A. If I want to see all the containers it is running. So it should show me. Okay. So I have run the hello world twice. So it has contained like it has created two containers. And this application is running twice on different containers. So on first container ID, it is running the hello world application. And again, on second container ID, it is running the application Hello World. Okay, so these are running. If, if I want to stop that, and then I need to do the same same thing which I was mentioning before. So to see all the container running is this, to stop the container, this is the command I need to type. Okay, I can even, you know, directly give uh, the ID. Right now, I am not giving the ID. I am running, I am just pulling it on the runtime. But if you want that, you want to directly give the ID, you can just type docker stop and then this ID, enter ID, it will stop the enter. But I want to stop all the containers. So this is the way I have given through which I can loop in and I can stop all the containers. If I hit an enter, it will stop all containers. Okay. And uh, if I want to remove all the containers which is created, see if I see now, it will show me it has been exited right and uh, if i want to remove it i just remove it docker rm and then you know the with id or this command it will remove it and if i see now docker ps minus if nothing is running okay so these are the basic commands through which we can do all the things on docker now let's see how to do a parallel execution on docker okay so for that, uh, okay, so we have done till here. So for that, first I need to do, I need to pull the Selenium image, okay? If I want to, con if I want a container and in container I want my Selenium to get downloaded and with that, if I want my Chrome browser to get downloaded, for that, there is a there is file here, okay? So there is a URL here, which is dockers dash Selenium for Selenium HQ. This is the complete page which you can refer for different commands and for pulling in 
the different images of selenium. Okay, so let's see. There are different images given here, like for grid, base, hub, different things are given. But I am using just two of the image here. Okay, what I'm using, I am using this Node Chrome debug, this one. All right, and I'm using Selenium Hub. So what I will do, I will turn on both these talkers, okay, so that I can run my uh, Selenium script in parallel, okay? So for example, if I want this, so I can just copy this, okay? And now I can go to the website of Dockers, okay? So I will just call Docker Hub, which is very similar to the GitHub. If you have not seen my like GitHub tutorial, you can refer that. So I can go to Docker Hub. This is a Docker Hub where I can pull the images. I can do Control V here and I can enter. And it shows me here. I can just click on this. And here I can copy the command. And I can just go to my terminal. And I will, you know, through this, I can just give the command Docker pull. And I can give the image name, it will pull it. But I already have that, so I will not do it again. It will take some time, like five minutes or so. Okay, great. All right, so what I will do, I will now directly run this. Okay, so to turn on the hub in PowerShell. So what I will do, because my hub is already downloaded, so you can do this. You can you can download it like this, but if it's all downloaded, you can just copy this command. Okay, so you don't have to remember this. This all the commands are given here on this page. Clean HQ page. All commands are given here. Okay, I have just written down just to be clear because there are many commands and I don't want to use all those. Okay, so it's saying that it will be run on port four 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 four. I hit on enter. Okay, so this is done, and now again I go to command prompt. Okay. Now what I will do, I will turn on, I'll turn on the hub and now I will turn on the node. Okay, so let me copy this. So I have created the first node and now I have created a second node. Okay, so I have created one hub and two nodes. See how simple it is to create a complete Selenium grid just on one machine on Docker. Okay, so now if I see the images, the containers, so see there are three containers created, okay? And all three containers are on different port. One is 4444, which is my hub, and these are my nodes, okay? Now, if I go here, if you know, like, uh, so this is my IP address, my localhost IP address, 4444, it gives me Selenium grid, okay? I can open, console here and I can see that two of the you know hub has been created if I want to create the third one I can just go here I can again give the same command for the hub for the node okay so it has created a third one now you see here so three has three uh, nodes has been created if I hit on enter, I can see three. So I can run execution on three browsers at the same time. Okay, and these are basically three different machines now. Okay, machine one, machine two, and machine three. All right, so I think uh, this is it, all the commands for Jokers which we are required to know. All right, and uh, now I just need to run my Selenium script. So Selenium script is very simple, like we always do. For running the test in parallel, I will just give here parallel equal to classes so that all the classes can run on different uh, different machines. And I will give all the classes here, okay? And beside that, what I will do, I am running my grid, my grid two, three, four, and five. So what I will do, I will just run three classes, okay? All right, and if I go to my grid, so this small tweak which I need to do because if you're using a Selenium grid, okay, for Selenium grid, you know, I have to give this uh, capabilities, otherwise I cannot use Selenium grid. So you have to do cap desired capabilities equal capabilities equal desired capabilities dot Chrome, then capabilities dot set browser name Chrome, capability set platform as platform dot Linux because I have in the Linux mode, driver equal to new remote web driver, new URL, and this is the URL of my 
okay, which I need to give. So once it is done, that's it. This is only done. And after that, you can just write your test here. Okay. The same way I have written the test on all my classes. Okay. Same desired capabilities on before test. And uh, after that, I am just, you know, printing something, opening a URL and printing something. That's it. So this is, this is just important thing. Okay. Just remember this, you have to set up this capabilities okay if uh, if you not set up that then it will not run your command on docker okay great so i hope you are all clear by this and now what you need to do you need to turn on your vnc server so once you download the vnc server you can turn on the vnc viewer so this is my vnc viewer and uh, if we see the port number okay it port number we have is uh, it's 5900. Uh, sorry, it is 32775, 32774. Okay, so what I will do, I will give my IP address colon 32774 and I will hit on enter. It will try to connect. I will continue that and I need to give password a secret S E C R E T, which is the default password for you. If you see, it show me one machine here. Okay. And uh, okay, so it is 774. Now we need to connect with 775. Okay, so I will go to this server again and 775. So this is basically nothing but a view of my, uh, you know, hub and node. Okay, so even if I don't turn it on, that is fine, my execution will still run. But I just want to, you know, see that. Uh, like that my you know it's doing the parallel execution otherwise i don't have to even you know run these two terminals it's just for the viewing purpose okay now i will just go here and i will go to this test ng parallel right click run test ng parallel and it will start you know see yes running the test and let me just open this two terminals just to make sure these are the two different virtual machines on dockers okay see on machine one, on machine two, it's running in parallel. So what does it mean? It means that you can do a parallel execution on Docker. You don't have to set up a virtual machine. You don't have to depend upon the cloud-based services, okay? Because sometimes you get issues in those. You can create your own Slim and Grid on your computer using Docker. And Docker is very fast as compared to virtual machines and it does not take much memory. They are very quick. So that's it from my side. Uh, I hope uh, you have learned something from this uh, uh, chapter. And uh, I will try to uh, you know, create more videos, some interesting videos in future. All right, thank you.